Canva just released Canva Code, a tool that makes coding super easy even if you have never coded before. In this video, I've got 10 must-know tips to quickly master Canva Code. Stay until the end so you don't miss any of the tips as all of them are quite juicy. Tip number one, how to access Canva Code. From the homepage, when you are logging into your account and you go to canva.com, you will see that there is a new button called Canva AI. You're going to click here and then you'll see some buttons appearing in here. This is the option that will allow you to play with Canva code. So you're going to click here and then you simply need to start describing the idea of what you want to create. There is another option to access Canva code and it is by clicking on the button on the left panel that says Canva AI. You're going to click here and then again you need to click on code for me. Now, what if you go to the home page and you still don't see this button or this button right here? These are actually new features in Canva that were launched at Canva Create 2025 and there is a special way to access these new features. And if you don't know how to access these features, go to our channel, to the videos tab and make sure to watch this video right here in which we show you how to unlock these new Canva features. Or you can also find the link to that video in the description of this video. And before we move on to the second tip, I would love to know if you already have this new feature on your account. Let me know in the comments. Now let me show you quickly how to use Canva code if you have never used it before or you can take this as a recap if you forgot how Canva code works. You are basically going to describe the idea of what you want to create in this box or you can actually use this in here if you don't know what to create or if you want to see the power of Canva code. So you will basically have a prompt on this box. So I'm going to take this as an example. Once you have this prompt ready and you hit submit, Canva is going to automatically start coding this widget for you. And it is going to use some random colors by default. But if you want this creation to be custom made and that it has your branded colors, you can ask Canva to use your branded colors in this prompt. So let's say that I want to create a fun memory matching game. I'm going to click here. I have my prompt. I'm going to delete this part right here. Here, and I'm going to ask Canva to use a particular color as a background. So use this color as the background color. This code that you see right here is the hex code of a bright green color that I want to use on this game. So I'm going to hit submit. Canva is going to start coding this widget or this game. Meanwhile, I'm going to show you in the editor how you can know the hex code of a particular color. I'm here in the editor. I'm going to brand and I'm going to use this image right here. If you have the image selected, you can see that you now have these options on the toolbar which is actually something new as well and you can click on the color that you want to get the hex code from and then click on this plus icon. You will have the hex code from here and you can simply copy and paste it in your prompt. Another way to get a hex code is by using this tool. If you don't see the color that you need in this toolbar, you're gonna go again to the plus icon, select this tool and then from here you can select the color that you want to get the hex code from. Now that we know how to get these hex codes, let's go back to Canva AI. Now we have the game ready and as you can see it has exactly the same color that I asked as the background color. What about if you are not quite sure about using this color in the background, you can still change it. And also if you have submitted your prompt without asking Canva to use your branded color, you can still change change it via the chat. So let's say that I want to change this color for another one. I'm going to paste here the color that I want to use now and let me copy this code and I'm going to ask change this color for 
this one and I'm going to submit it like this. Version 2 is ready and as you can see we have the new color in the background. It was as simple as this prompt. I just waited a couple of seconds, maybe less than a minute and I do have my version ready. You can see here version 1, the only thing that changes is the color in the background. Now, what if you want to change the font on your creations? You can actually add the name of the font on the initial prompt, or you can also change the fonts in some other versions by asking the chat. The only thing is that I realized after using Canva code for a while, it is that it is not using the font library available in Canva. Instead, it is using Google Fonts. So let me show you here an example. I created a count down timer. Here I have some versions I was playing around with different fonts and you can see that it is using different fonts that are actually available in Google Fonts. Now how do you browse or discover the fonts available in Google Fonts? You're going to go to fonts.google.com which is going to take you to this page. From here you can filter the fonts by filling, appearance, calligraphy and so on. So let me go for example here to artistic and then from here you can simply scroll down and see if you find something that you like. You will see the name of the font right here. So let me try to go for something different like for example this one. Let's go for Borel. Now let me go to Canva AI and let's ask to change the font for Borel. I'm going to submit and then I'm going back to Google Fonts to show you something else. If you're looking for a font in particular and you want to make sure that it is available in Google Fonts, you're going to search for the font in here. So this is the search bar. I'm going to see if they have Montserrat and indeed they do have this font in here. Let's search for another font like for example Brittany. I know that this one is available in the Canva library but as you can see this one is not available available in Google Fonts. So let me show you what happens in this case. Let me go back to Canva. Now you can see that the countdown has now the font Borel applied and if you pay attention to the previous version I actually asked to use the font Brittany. Remember that Brittany is available in the Canva library but it's not available in Google Fonts. So the reply from the chat is I'll try to update your countdown timer to use the Brittany font. However, However, Brittany isn't available in Google Fonts. Let me suggest an alternative approach. So when I go and see this version, we see that it is not using Brittany, but it is using something quite similar. So I'm not mad because like this, you can ask for the font that you want and the chat is going to find something similar if it is not available in Google Fonts. But if you want to have full control on the fonts that are used on your creations, I do suggest that you go to Google Fonts and find the fonts that are available in there and use those on your prompts. On tip number four, I'm going to show you how you can access your recent or previous creations. Whenever you go to the Canva homepage, you might be used to seeing your recent designs listed down below, but you don't see the widgets you have created with Canva AI. Now, if we go to Canva AI, what you see in here are some prompt ideas to create code, images, write or design. So where are these creations? For this, you need to first click on code for me and then you're going to make sure that this menu is open. So at the moment it is collapsed but if I click here I'll open this menu and from here you'll be able to see the different versions you have created. So remember that anytime you need to access those creations you will find them in here. Your widget, your game, your creation is ready. Now, how do you share this with others? You're going to go to the version you want to share and then simply click use in a design, this button on top of the screen. This is going to open a new Canva document and then from here you have different options to share this with others. You can click on the share button on top of the screen and from here you can either create a public view link, so you're going to click here, then create 
public view link. And then from here, simply copy this link and you'll be able to share it with anybody. Another way is by going again to the share button. And this time, instead of creating a public view link, you can create a website. From here, you will see the website URL. You can customize it if you want by clicking on this pencil icon. This is the URL you will need to share with others for them to be able to use your widget. And then finally, make sure to publish the website so others can access the URL. Now, what about if you want to embed this on your website? You're going to go to share, select see all. And from here, you will see this option that says embed. From here, you can see that you can embed this design on Medium, WordPress or your own website. Always update automatically. You're going to click here. From here, you can simply copy the HTML code by clicking on this button. Or there are some platforms that allow you to create an embed simply by pasting this link. And you can double check the supported platforms by clicking on this link. If you're going to embed this on your website, I do suggest that you try both of these options and see which one looks better. And before we move on to the last tip, I want to show you something else. You can actually copy and paste these widgets from a Canva document to another. So this is the document that Canva created automatically from Canva code. But if I want, I can select the widget, click on these three dots, copy, then go to another Canva document. Like for example, this one, I run random documenting here and paste. I can change the size of the widget and you will see that it will still work. A common question we have received about Canva code on this video is if we can have access to this code generated by Canva. And the answer, sadly, is that at the moment that is not possible. But one of you shared a hack in the comments of this video. And it says that we simply need to right click on the previous screen and choose view frame source. I'm going to show you how to do this. I have here this version of this birthday card. I I'm going to right click and then click view frame source. As you can see, you can access the HTML code from here. I am not a coder, so I'm not sure if this is exactly what you need to embed this widget on your website. I actually tried it out and when I embed or tried to embed this on my website, it was nothing similar to this preview version that we have in here. The only way that I was able to preview exactly the same widget on my website it was by using the embed option that i showed you in the previous tip so i really suggest that you use the embed options that canva is providing in the editor remember the share button and then embed this is going to make sure that you don't break your website and that the widget looks good i'm here just sharing this hack i don't know for how long this is going to be available but i'm sharing it as many of you were asking for this and and I believe is an interesting option if you know about coding. I was checking the Canva code FAQ and I saw that Canva code is available if your account is set to English. As you can see here, my Canva is set to Spanish. I can click on code for me and the prompts that appear in here, they are in Spanish. I was able to create some games completely in Spanish and they look quite good. They work. So I'm just sharing here this information in case that English English is not your native language. And now I'm curious, let me know which language did you try and let me know if it worked. I'm sure many of you are wondering how do we customize how we further edit these creations that Canva is providing. Whenever you have your creation ready, something like this, and you try it out, it might happen that some buttons are hidden behind elements, like for example in here, or that you simply don't like the font, the colors that were used. There are things that you want to change. If you want to change anything on this widget, simply ask 
the chat. You won't be able to access the code and you know like write whatever you want in the code and it is because and this tool was created for everyone not only for coders so anybody who doesn't know how to code can simply go to the chat and ask for the changes and you can do it in simple language so for example in here I have my first version and I want to change the colors for this color palette in here and I also asked for a new copy I then had a second version that looks like this when I click on open card I still have the button behind this icon and I can see that the text is touching the edge of this card so I figured that maybe the design was not responsive so I asked for another version and I continued like this asking for changes and changes until I got something like this it took me eight versions to have a design that looks like this you can see that I have access to the button without any issues I also can have access to this button and go back the text is looking good I have enough space above my title and everything works fine all of this just to say that if you need to change or customize anything on your widget or your creation your game simply ask on the chat and don't be afraid to keep asking for changes you might need to generate several versions until you get something that looks exactly as you envisioned Here's a fun tip that I believe is going to make your widgets look much better. I played a lot with Canva code and I realized that sometimes I was getting some weird images generated by the AI that they didn't look quite okay. So for example in here I see this birthday gift which is okay, it's not the best, it's not the one that I would choose but you can recognize it. And then when I open the code I saw this. I don't know if this is a person or if it's a globe and this one looks kind of like a birthday cake but I don't quite like it. So my tip here is that if you are getting images like these ones you can actually change them for emojis. So in here you can see that I changed the font. I asked the chat to change it and I also asked for the images to be replaced by emojis and you can see in here that it made a good selection of emojis so let me show you version number two you can see that the gift actually now looks like a gift because it's an emoji and anybody can recognize it and then when I click on open card I have a globe and a birthday cake I know this is a small change but this is going to make look your creation a lot more professional let me show you quickly another example you can see in this creation we have these irregular rounded shapes we have here like little tiny lines and when I open the card I have something that actually looks like a cake it's not that bad but now let me show you version number two I changed the color palette and now these shapes are different and with the new color palette these things they look more like trees not globes trees and then I continue asking for changes but I was not happy with these shapes in here so I asked again to change them for emojis and here's what I got you can see that we also have some emojis flying around which is looking pretty nice and of course we still have some things that need to be changed so I kept asking for changes and this is the final version that I created And the last tip is that if you have doubts on how Canva code works or if you need inspiration or if you need advice, in this case I asked the chat for color palette recommendations. It gave me three different color palettes and I selected one of them which is the one that you see on the right. So I came from something like this. This is the color palette that I have selected before and this is the one that the chat recommended. Fun fact is that that this way is how I learned that this feature is using Google Fonts instead of the fonts available in the Canva library. So this is just to let you know that the chat is not only here to help us create new versions, but it is also going to help us solve doubts or to get inspiration from.
To discover all the latest Canva launches, make sure to watch this playlist right here and subscribe to our channel if you want to continue learning Canva with us. I think that's it for this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!